Kim Jackson is here now, a nuclear molecular technologist. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. Let's discuss what's new in the PET MR world. Oh my gosh, there's so many things that are new in the PET MR world. Um, right now, there's a focus on F18 axiomen for recurrent prostate ca um, cancer, and then there's also uh, with imaging with gallium 68 dotatate net spot for newer endocrine tumors. So there's a lot that's going on, but um, also there has been some talks with motion correction, improving on image quality. So there's a lot going on and some new therapy that's going um, coming into the whole field. So there's a lot. <laughs> I could go on and go on, sorry. And with those things that are changing and advancing, there is a need for education clearly, and, yes. and we all need to evolve. So I know you're active uh, in a task force for technology. Yes. What is the goal of that task force? So I am the chair of the Society of Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging Technologist section, PETAMAR Task Force, um, in which I'm so grateful to be that chair. Um, we are trying to see if we can get more technologists to get involved um, and also to try and bridge a gap between um, nuclear medicine technologists who do PET and also MRI technologists who are also doing MR and PET together and see if we can work with uh, the SMRT, which is um, the technology section of the ISMRM, and with the Society of Nuclear Medicine um, technology section and try to bring everyone together and maybe see if we can do um, some educational sessions, possibly um, in the future, maybe next year, try and see if we can create a PETAMAR work group. Because um, currently they only have like a representation for physicians currently, so we would like to see if we can have an impact for technologists. And just let technologists know out there that there are educational courses available. They could just go on the SNMMI website, and there's so much information out there. Um, because technologists are really the front line. We start everything off with the patients. Um, physicians are very important, but <laughs> technologists are really the ones that are hands-on with the patients and hands-on with learning the technology first and using the equipment and so forth. So I would just really like uh, for technologists to really know that they hold a very strong impact and they, they're very important in this field. When you talk about the technologists clearly being on the front lines, how important is it for that collaboration with physicians for patient care? Oh, it is very important. Um, I am actually at NYU and my uh, nuclear physician is Dr. Friedman and he has been a great uh, communicator for me and has always supported everything that I do and all the technologists there so I feel like when you have that great communication and you, you're able to work better and for technologists they they are able to become more educated and they're also able to educate the physicians as well so when when I say we're on the front lines like you can have a layout of protocols and so forth but we're the ones that implement these protocols we're the ones that have to explain it to the patients and make sure everything goes as plans. So when I say frontline, I definitely mean that we're very important um, and very important to the patient's experience as well. So having that communication with the physicians is great because you are able to learn from them and they're able to learn from you. And that makes the job even better. And that communication really begins by you being represented here as yes. technologists. Yes. And um, we are represented, but I would love to see more technologists yeah. come and join a society and just be a part of something that's so great and has been growing for so many years. Um, there's so many talks that are geared towards technologists and even physicians attend these talks. So it's great to, to even have that representation. So um, I believe that you know if we could get more technologists to come, it, th this meeting could be even better, but it's already great on its own. But we do have a lot of representation here. We do as technologists. Well, that's so. great. And it's a great message to invite even more. Kim Jackson, yes. thank you so much. Oh, thank you for having me.